Hello, my name is Dr. Louis Scalfani. I'm a licensed chiropractic physician. I'm also the health director for Medical Products Online. Please remember to discuss the use of any of these devices with your own doctor before use. Today we're going to discuss the Intensity Twin Stim 3, which is a combination device that has four TENS modes and three muscle stimulation modes. You'll notice that your device has everything that you need to get started. There's an instruction manual, electrodes, the Twin Stim 3, a battery, an AC adapter, and the lead wires. We're going to go through the modes. If we turn the unit on, we'll see that it will go to EMS mode or TENS mode, depending on where you left off. By pressing the M, you can scroll back and forth from TENS to EMS. We have burst mode, normal mode, M, and M1 mode. In burst mode, the electrical stimulation will be felt in short bursts, followed by no stimulation. In normal mode, the electrical stimulation will be felt in continuous format throughout the duration of treatment. In M mode, the pulse width will vary up and down throughout the duration of treatment. In M1 mode, the pulse rate will vary high and low throughout the duration of treatment. Again, press the M uh, button and you will see EMS displayed. We have synchronous mode, alternate mode, and delay. In synchronous mode, both channels will be on at the same time. Scroll to alternate mode and the unit will go from channel 1 to channel 2 and alternate from side to side with stimulation. In delay mode, the current will go on in channel 1 and then followed by channel 2 after some preset delay. Right now, we're going to hook up our unit and show you how to go through some different modes. First thing is to connect your lead wire to the top of the unit and then securely fasten to your electrodes. Place your electrodes in the area of treatment. Turn on the unit by pressing the power button. We're going to set up normal TENS mode, so we'll hit the mode, which will bring us to TENS, press the S, and then with the up arrow, we will be able to scroll throughout the modes, select the N, press S again, and you will be able to change the time. You'll see a clock flashing, up and down arrow to your preset time. Press S once again. PW or pulse width will display. Up and down arrow to change that parameter. Press S again. PR for pulse rate will display. And again, you can up and down arrow. Press S one more time. And we can begin the inten increasing intensity with the up arrow. And you want to just uh, begin at a comfortable level and then you may increase. You will also notice that after a short period of time, 30 seconds, a little key will display and that will prevent you from accidentally increasing the, uh, the intensity. So in order to uh, adjust that, you would press the down one time and then you'll be able to increase your intensity. When you're done, you either shut the uh, instrument off or if you wanted to switch to another mode, you would simply hit, press the M twice, and now you'll see that EMS is displayed. Um, we'll set it up for synchronous mode. We will press S, and then the up arrow until we come to the S. Press the S one more time. Again, you may select the time duration of your treatment, up and down arrow, press S once again for pulse width, up and down arrow, select S again, and then you may select uh, the pulse rate, up and down arrow, press S one more time, and you will see that there's a ramp that is blinking. That will tell you how long it will take for the unit to go from zero current up to the treatment current, up and down arrow, that 
ramp can be set from 0 to 6 seconds. Press S one more time. CON will display, and this will tell you the amount of time for contraction. And you can select that and vary this from 0 to 60 seconds. Press S one more time. REL will now flash. That will tell you the relaxation time. And again, you can select anywhere from 0 to 60 seconds. Press S one more time. And again, intensity, you would increase this with the up arrow to the desired intensity. And after 30 seconds, you will not be able to change this unless, again unless you go and press the down arrow, and then you may increase intensity. Then you would wait for the duration of your treatment, or if you wanted to stop your treatment, you would simply press the button for about three seconds, and the unit will come off. Then you would disconnect your unit put your electrodes away. Remember again to consult with your doctor before using this device, and we thank you very much for visiting us at Medical Products Online.